G'day, Daniel Casinas here. The amphibious boat ATV thing is looking a bit different. I have made this nice uh, rear bench seat sort of cover. Already printed a little cover for the uh, jack thing. Comes up inside there. Sorted out our sprocket issue we had on the motor. So now you're going to sit here like this. I did have this lever set up that pushed and pulled a big push rod to the front, but it was kind of backwards how it operated, and sometimes I had to use two hands to use it. So maybe I go with some handlebars like this or like this. Maybe we can rig that up somehow. Got a bit of a bracket tacked in here for the handlebars. The bosses for there are just on the printer at the moment. I've rearranged this front pivot part so it pivots here now and this push rod's going to push here. But the rod will be sort of too much in the middle of the boat. So I kind of want to bend it to the side a little bit so there's more room. That's much better. I can't really test it right now because there's so much slop and everything. But I probably should weld everything off because I think once I put those plastic bushes in there, I'm never going to get them out again. I had the pivot point back here and it was way too much pressure for it. So I put the pivot point back, but having this bend in the rod is no good. Alright, I've rearranged this, I've got something that works. So I need to put something slippery underneath here, and underneath here, and underneath here, to stop it scraping. So I know a good thing will be a chopping board, let's go find one. Stay low and move slowly. Objective secure. All right, I'm finally happy with it. It works good now. So the great thing about using normal handlebars is I can use all just motorbike controls for everything. So I can have this for my rear brake, just a twist throttle. And I have my electrics on here. This is the old cluster. I'll make that the start and maybe that the on off. Cable comes in here, but it's locked, not long enough. So I'm gonna have to join the two together. So let's make an adapter. Rear brakes are hooked up. So we've got the throttle hooked up now. Had to join the cable because it's a long way. I've widened these controls here, so that's the start button now. And this is gonna be the on off, but I haven't hooked up the earth yet because I don't know which way around it goes. So it's all pretty dodgily hooked up for now. Actually, any of you guys that know about uh, lawnmowers and that, if I hook this wire up to the battery, will that charge it? Or let me know in the comments because I really want it to charge the battery up.
So trying to get this motor to run a bit better, I bypassed the fuel pump and uh, it worked. After I cleaned the carburetor as well, it was full of junk and that made it work better too. So now I'm in here, I've got the uh, little diaphragm pump apart and I can see that corner of the diaphragm is folded through a little bit. So maybe that's what's wrong with it. Let's open up the other side. That's better. I've been driving around on it, it goes pretty good. I'll just see if I can pull something with it. The wife wants me to de-ice this freezer, so I'll just pull it further out the backyard. What's that so heavy? That's a success. The steering's really good. The controls are real, really good to use. The gear sticks down here. I thought it would be a bit weird. I was going to move it, but it's actually pretty easy to use, just like that. Um, I might hook that fuel tank back up. I thought I had another one on the guard because I thought it was perhaps the fuel tank that was the problem, but it wasn't. It was this thing here. I'll have to make a bit of an exhaust for this thing. It sounds pretty cool how it is, but it's a little bit too loud. The chain is still loud, but since fixing that sprocket, it's way better. I might just uh, make a roller, maybe a nylon roller with a bearing in it or something for the chain. This outboard lower with the universal, I sort of don't think it's going to work. But the problem is I probably need two universal joints so that it'll swing far enough out of the way. So for those of you who haven't seen the other video, that end just screws into there. That pivots off this piece. I also have this prop here which I would like to use, it's a surface drive prop and this is good for somewhere between 15 and 20 horsepower so it would fly with this on but I've got to get it to spin fast this is like a 5 to 1 drive off a seagull so that'll be way too slow I think it's about a 3 to 1 even that'll be too slow it would be good if I could direct drive this I could have a setup something like this where it swings up and engages it a dog onto the motor and it just flips out of the way and it disengages. Tell me your thoughts on that. So the steering still works when the wheel is up so I can use that same handlebars to steer the propeller. I've also made this little tunnel hole piece that I can weld in here. Gives me a bit more planing area and then also I can have the I don't have to have the prop so low. So really getting this thing to plane on the water is the next priority. It should be able to do it. That is easily enough power. Just getting that uh, propeller system sorted out is the go. Thanks you guys for all your comments and thanks for watching. See you next time.